This is Google TV. For everyone's wondering, what is Google TV? So we got your little mouse pointer here, and I'm gonna show you what it does. It's one of the best uh, things out here. So I'm gonna hit home, and it takes me to my home page. And one of the first applications on here is Facebook. So I'm gonna click on Facebook. So you have your Facebook right here on your TV, which is really good. You can update everything and um, go through your status. So as my Facebook comes up, so here's my Facebook, and I can click on my profile. It goes everywhere on um, just like a regular internet. So that's a that's one of the good things here. So you have Facebook. Let me close this little box up here. So my Facebook loads up. And you look at all the videos, you can do anything. So let me go back. So you go back, you go back to your home page. So I'm going to go hit the back button and I'll show you some more of the applications that it has here. Just one second, so go back home. And then we have live TV. And so I want to go back to live TV. I click live TV and say I want to go to my home. I can watch TV down here. I can also expand, move it to the corner. Expand the box. Go back to live TV. Make it bigger. At the same time, I could also go to YouTube. So look, I could look at your Facebook and watch TV at the same time. Or you can watch TV. Get on YouTube. And they have this special YouTube here. There's two different YouTubes. There's a regular YouTube you see on your computer, and this YouTube here where you just type in what you want to watch yeah. and it goes straight to it. The last couple of years have been pretty challenging for Bristol because so often what it is that she does ends up in the tabloids because of someone that she had been associated with. So Todd, is that the chick with the baby? Get her away from all of that and to refocus so. on what truly matters I can see why. in her life. And I hope she gets that. Oh! Continental pillow fight. So if I wanted to That's close that. out TV while I look for this, so if she affords this YouTube channel, my video comes up first, so I can just click on it right here, and you get to watch the video on your entire YouTube. It's pretty clear. Yeah, this doesn't happen on normal flight. That's me. And then oh. you can just hit over, and you can go. You can go to uh, another video. You just hit the other button. When you hit the down button. It gives you other things about it. That's awesome. But let's go back to uh, my profile here. So I can pull up my YouTube page right here, and uh, here's my YouTube page, which is good. I could do YouTube straight from my TV, which is a great thing, and it just takes a while. Sometimes it's a little bit slow to load things up, but here's my YouTube channel. I want to thank everyone who watches all my videos and for all the comments. It means a lot. Um, so here's my YouTube channel on here, and just, just the regular internet. So let's go through some other cool features. I'm going to hit the home key go back. Netflix. This also has Netflix on here and um, they actually updated it from the original Netflix. You can actually search for movies, pull up your instant queue. Um, it takes a little while to launch Netflix but it comes with Netflix and the great thing about Google TV is you can keep adding apps to it. Google is, uh, sends updates and it just updates by itself so as it progresses and becomes bigger and bigger and Google's pretty good at things, they're going to put more and more apps on here. Pretty soon you'll be able to throw, if you have an Android phone, you can throw what you're watching on your phone towards the TV and it'll be like just storing it straight on the TV. So if you're watching a YouTube video, it's like, this is cool, you flip your phone towards the TV and it jumps straight to it. So here is um, YouTube, this is new, I mean, uh, Netflix, New Arrivals, and you pull up your interesting queue, and then you can also search uh, for any movie you want. So let me go back to the TV. Thing. This is a really cool part about Google TV. Say you're watching TV and you want to know when Mythbusters comes on. You just type in. I love that show. Mythbuster, and it pulls up. It pulls up Mythbuster. It'll show search it on TV. It tells you it comes on what channel it comes on. It takes you to go to their website. So it's really good. Google TV does a search where it can tell you whatever is showing up, so you know what's about to come on. So I went to their website, or I can click on it, and it'll take me to it. Now, if you have a um, Dish network, it can also record it for you. I have Time Warner Cable, so they haven't set it up to where I can work with Time Warner Cable. Let me get back to the <coughs> home screen here. Um, the applications, you have Amazon Video, you have 
you have, and this is pretty cool here, we go to um, applications here. You have all these applications. NBA, NBA Game Time is a really cool application, actually. It uh, tells you what game's on, tells you the score. So these are all the games that are playing uh, today. These are the score. You can click on the game and pull up all the stats. Um, this game hasn't started yet, so it starts uh, at 7 p.m. So you can pull up all the stats on games. You can hit, just hit the back button, go back, but um, you can pick any date. Let's go to yesterday so we can see a game with stats. So here's a game yesterday. And then what it does tells you the stats, and you can pull, you can view the full game statistics, which is if you're a big sports fan, that's really good. And eventually here they're going to add um, NFL and baseball, hockey, so everything will be on here, so you can go and look at all the games. So you go back. Let's go back to home again. Um, you have Napster. You have. Um, let me go back to application one second. You have Napster, you have their media player, which I'll go to later. I don't really like their media player. I think they could really update it. Let's scroll down here. Applications. You have gallery. You can look at photos. Um, you have Netflix, Pandora, TV, Twitter. It is all on here. Spotlights. This is really cool. These are all little channels specifically designed for um, Google TV. You have the CNN channel that it pulls up. So I'm going to CNN. It's a special CNN channel. Um, it's like an on-demand channel. So it has all the CNN videos that you can look through. These are really cool. So if you don't have cable, you can still access these channels through the application. So let me go um, back. Teens crashing, burning car into restaurant. You have HBO Go, you have Flickr, you have PBS, you have Adult Swim. So, I mean, these are just all on-demand videos on this thing. And like I said, Google TV is going to keep adding more and more and more and more. And it does come with Flash, so it can play any uh, Flash player. So here's the adult one. And it takes a little while for these things to load up. So we're going to waste a lot of time waiting for all of them to load up. But, and there's Hobbiton Post, the Cartoon Network, um, CNET. Here's uh, some more. That they have New York Times, The Onion, USA Today. You can read the newspaper, just click on it, and it comes up. So it's, I mean, the apps are, are endless, and like I said, as Google keeps adding more and more apps, you can um, get more things on here. So let's go back to the home page, and whatever was the last thing you use, it stays on there. Most visited, it also has a browser on here. Browser is under applications. You have your Google Chrome browser, and you can open up multiple windows. Um, your most visited is also on here. Um, what's on? You also have, it can tell you what's on right now, channel list. So you want to pull up your channel list to see what's on. It'll pull up the channels, tell you the parent trap, parent trap. It tells you what's on. gives you a nice little icon for each channel, adult, some on demand. Let's go back to what's on, and let's click on... Let's see, comedy. So it'll pull up all the comedy. You don't know what you want to watch, but you want to watch a comedy. Well, it pulls them all up, and it tells you what's on and what channel it's on, so it's really good. And then you also have um, Amazon Video On Demand. It's also here on Google TV, so you can watch, in addition to Netflix, you can watch all the latest movies on Amazon, Amazon On Demand. So you have all the choices to pick from. Now we're going to go to their media player here, which I think is something that really can uh, improve. You can plug in um, external hard drive, USB, anything that has a USB memory into here, into the uh, Google TV box itself, a Logitech review, and here's mine. So I plug it in. Um, let's see, let's go. Uh, here, let's go here. It also pulls up wireless networks. You can't access that, but in here, I'm going to go to like one of my picture folders here. And the only thing I don't like is, see, you can't see what the photo is. It just, actually that's a see, error, unable to play, I think it was a movie. Here's a picture. You can't see what the picture is until it's a, one of my trips, as you all tell us, um, from, I think from Salt Lake, Houston to Salt Lake, that's business, I mean, first class on Continental. But it's very hard, you cannot scroll through the pictures. You have to select each picture at a time, so it's very time consuming. Now this is Google TV. Now I have my Google TV hooked up to my um, Lodge, uh, to my uh, LG Blu-ray player, and I'm going to show you 
some uh, added features that my LG Blu-ray player has that's really good with the uh, Google TV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my home screen here. I hit the home button. And it takes me to my LG player. And with this, I also have um, YouTube, Pandora, Netflix. It's just a, I'll show you. This is what the old Google TV uh, Netflix used to look like till they updated with the last uh, software upgrade. It was basically this Netflix, which is taking a minute to load here. But it's, I have Netflix on Google TV, Netflix on my Blu-ray player. I remember earlier when I was telling you guys how the Logitech Review photo system is very, looks very old and it's very poor to navigate. I want to show you what the photo system looks like on the uh, LG, which is something maybe Google can look at to see if they can improve that, because it's the media system is, is really crappy. While that's loading, um, let's give this is this is the actual keyboard. You have all your your mouse button up here, your volume control, you can hit TV guide, your DVR, set top boxes, it turns them all on and off. You have a keypad here, your home button. The OK button, you scroll around, you can pause, go forward. This this puts picture in picture. Um, then you have, you can control your pages. This right here controls the internet tabs. It brings up different um, little internet tabs here. And you got you got pretty much a full keyboard. This right here is really important. This is a search button. This is when you're watching TV, you see Mythbuster. They did something crazy. You want to check it out, like Jet Blast. You click it, hit Jet Blast when they blew that taxiway, and then it'll pull up websites. It'll take you to their website. All right, so this is the keyboard. Now, let's get back to the, um, this is the interface on the LG. So let's say I want to look at my photos, and we compare it to the photos that you saw earlier. Look at it. It actually shows you the file, and you have a little preview of each photo, so you actually know what you're looking at. And it's very simple to scroll, scroll, scroll through. You can just hit over and scroll through them. And the pictures are also much bigger. It seems to show up more clear on here. It's easy to navigate. You can also add music. To this, so that's his girlfriend. Yeah, that's my mom. Um, that's New York, a continental south. This is on the way I was going to the uh, Caribbean. So this is one of the trips. Now the last thing I'm gonna in our menu. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys is, in addition to the Google TV and the LG player, with I have two Netflix, I can search, browse anything on the computer. I also have radio on here too, to where I can scroll through and listen to the radio on my TV. And you can also, also has the iPod on here. There's an iPod docked up there. It's pulling up what's on your iPod. So I can also listen to my iPod, watch Google TV, get on the internet, search everything, have a Blu-ray player. So it's it's really interconnected. I pretty much have everything at my fingertips. So I hope you guys, um, if you're thinking of getting Google TV, this video is very insightful, It'll give you a review. It's pretty easy to use when you get to learn it. There's going to be more on there. It's around $300 for the uh, Google TV. You do need cable to search cable channels if you don't have it, but you could use it without cable, but you will be pretty much only using half of the product, and it's great to navigate. So I just wanted to uh, show everyone about Google TV, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.